welcome to the Melio Exploring Channel. Today we're in downtown Puyallup at the library and they have some cherry blossoms down here. So we're gonna take a peek at the cherry blossoms right here in front of the library. Then we're gonna walk around the park and check it out. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice day out and uh, that'd be fun to explore here. So let's look around. So the way I actually found out about the cherry blossoms being over here was somebody at the library, I believe, posted that the cherry blossoms were blooming. So that's kind of how I knew they were here. Check it out in front of the library that have these blue heron. And the interesting thing is there's a bunch of blue heron at it's either Clark's Creek Park North or South. All right, so we're gonna walk around and look around the park a little bit. There's actually a interesting new, newish section. They built a water park over here. You also have the playground, the library, there's also the, uh, it's kind of like an X, like a hall over there where they do the uh, night market, which I've gone to a couple times. They got a bunch of art here in the park. And then over here, there's going to be kind of an interesting structure, which is a plant that was owned by Israel Meeker or his wife or something like that. So yeah, check it out. Here's the kids spray park. You know, it's funny they built this here because there used to be like a little swimming hole, which is always kind of funny. A little pony play there, huh? She said, pony play, you heard? And that's a little horse. So they're doing some pumping over there. Uh, but these bathrooms behind me, they're about to get a, a $1.6 million upgrade. Not even upgrade, they're gonna probably just redo the whole thing. So if you look over there, there's actually the city hall building and they have a lot of art over there as well. We're gonna walk over here cause it's super loud and we're gonna look at this memorial here they have.
So next to the memorial, they have these tables where you can play checkers and chess. That's pretty cool. And look, it says dedicated to the memory of Brian Black. I like this one quite a bit. This says, Teach Your Children by Jeff Samples. Check out this thing, endangered species. Look at that, it's like a chair. We're now at the pavilion here, which is where they sometimes do the night market. There's also events that they do here. And in the park down here, they do the uh, farmer's market on most weekends, I believe. So this is pretty cool to have a statue honoring the farmers of the Puyallup Valley. There you can see the mountain out, look at that. This one's called Beginning. Yeah. That's crazy. So the restaurant is called Giorgio's. They call me Giannavini Giorgio. Look, that corner part is actually separated from the building. It goes all the way up and then it connects. And then it, it's like a giant piece of wood from the top to the bottom. Well, panels. If I remember correctly, this building also has some type of retention pond and it tells you, I think, I think, it tells you how much water is in the pond. Let's go. So this is supposed to be a video at the park, but I want to get the shot of the mountain. An actual shot of this. This is kind of interesting. Pretty cool. Look at all these containers. Look. So I think I found the spot where it shows you the water. I think it's right here. Rainwater to irrigation process. A little way out there, and then there it is. I've seen it lit up before, and I think it tells you the level. If I remember correctly. And there's, oh, there's some cool little blue rocks. Oh look, and it comes out. Interesting. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ma'am. Ooh, I, I enjoy this one, look. Motherhood on, on pillow. Look at that. It's actually really uh, teeny. That's pretty cool. This, uh, this whole section's pretty neat. Um, there's blue rock in there and I, I think it catches the water and then it looks pretty neat. This one's called Rising and uh, Feather by Chris Vermeer. That one's pretty neat as well. This one's called Renovation. Huh. I dig that one. So a lot of the art in this section here kind of reminds me of the Native Americans that lived here and uh, I recently read this book on Billy Frank Jr. Most libraries have it and you can download it. I would really recommend reading that to kind of learn about fishermen rights and um, some interesting stuff happened like uh, celebrities came out to like the Puyallup River like Marlon Brando came out and did some stuff on the river trying to bring awareness and uh, Billy Frank Jr. did a lot of interesting stuff and had a really interesting life so I would definitely check that book out. So I popped back over to look at the uh, statue here and it made me think of the Meeker Mansion or just the uh, Pretty much a like a block or two over. If you ever have the chance to check that place out, I know it had been kind of closed for a while, but even the outside's fun to look at. Eventually, I'll get over there. I shot something over there one time, but uh, I wanted to get inside and do like a full video. I'll have to do that another time. All right, so I don't know if I mentioned it, but where the pavilion is right here, running this way. That's actually where the old library used to be before they built the new one, which I don't exactly remember what year that was. <laughs> oh man. Look what, I know, I've never seen this before, look. There's a little carriage, like, up there. I think it's like a light. I don't know if it glows or what. That's pretty neat, I've never noticed that. That's so cool. That's over by the bathrooms. Wow.
He has a daffodil, look at that. All right, so it's getting a little sunny, but I wanted to talk about this road here on, uh, I guess it's South Meridian. Meridian is, uh, there's, it kind of splits on their one ways. And uh, this road gets blocked off for the uh, Daffodil Parade, which is in April, I believe. And they block it all off on the corners and then the uh, parades come down. And it goes all the way down there. It goes like Sumner, Puyallup, and there's a couple other locations. Sometimes they even stick little bleachers and stuff and the news stations that way. And yeah, it's a festival for the uh, daffodils, which is pretty cool. Hey, I know that clown. All right, so that's gonna do it on the Mueller Exploring channel. Uh, I was pretty happy to find some cherry blossoms. Um, and they're super pretty down here. And I only found out about this because I believe a librarian posted that the cherry blossoms were blossoming. So shout out to you. I believe, uh, I don't know if it was on Facebook or Instagram, I don't remember. But if you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe, stay up to date with all my new videos. And uh, yeah, get down here if you can. Uh, if you can't make it to Seattle to the UW or the Arboretum in Seattle, this is pretty good. I like it a lot and I like this park. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.